Hey guys, it's Mariah, and welcome back to another episode of the Skyrim modded playthrough. So last week we did a whole, whole bunch of stuff. Like, the episode was crazy long. That would have gone up last week. As I mentioned in that episode, my plan is to kind of focus on making longer episodes that only go up once a week. So there's just a lot that happens all together, and it is one upload. Uh, really, I wish, to be honest, that I could upload like at least two long episodes a week, but that's just not really in the cards time-wise for me right now. However, this is what we got, and I'm excited to be coming back to you guys for another upload. So, like I mentioned in the last episode, we had a whole lot of stuff happening. Uh, we pretty much cleared out the lower end of this whole middle section of the map here, starting kind of over here-ish, and then literally crossing through all of these locations. And I'm pretty excited with what we were able to accomplish in the last episode. Um, I do have some exciting news in that I fixed Zathiri's face, at least for the most part. I probably put a comment about that in the last episode because it was kind of concerning me last time that she didn't quite look like what I had anticipated her looking because of the issue that I mentioned at the start of the last episode. You're welcome to go back and listen to that if you have no idea what I'm talking about. But all that aside, guys, we are here to start the episode and I'm excited to be recording today. So we have made it across, like I said, that whole basin, this whole middle portion of the world uh, in order to come back over here to Sethiri's home, which is actually up here. Thankfully, Feindal's already uh, he's already sorting out the place. It's kind of overgrown, to be honest. There's just like stuff all over the place and grass leading up to the pathway, which... You know, it has been kind of unoccupied for some time, so Theory's not been back in a while. So let's go ahead and head on inside. We really need to do some, like, uh, getting our equipment sorted out, um, dropping off some things that we want to keep but don't want to carry with us kind of a thing. So I know, isn't it gorgeous in here, Feindal? It is just beautiful. So this is Ebon Grove, and this is where Cytheria lives. She inherited this home from a relative of hers some time ago. And of course, it's very much done in the style of like uh, Dunmer, kind of like the Solstheim feel. And it has very much that kind of an influence. So that's definitely one of the reasons why Cytheria is excited to go to Solstheim, is that she's kind of grown up in these kind of influences for a long time. So I've got the little like kitchen and dining basically over here. Um, this is like, okay, so this is the alchemy table that Sithiri set up for herself some time ago. It's very beautifully decorated. You guys know when you have a hobby that you want to take on and you think that, oh, I'm just gonna get all of this equipment and material, I'm gonna set myself up this little place and I'm gonna devote some time to doing this thing. Well, that's kind of what Sithiri did with alchemy some time ago and has yet to touch this table. She wants to do alchemy she wants to be good at it, but she just like hasn't ever really taken the time to devote herself to it. As a result, she has this beautiful little area in her home devoted just to alchemy and she's never actually touched the thing except to set it up. So there's that if we ever decide to get into alchemy or anything like that. Um, over here is the enchanting table and we actually very much are in need of using this right now. Let's break down some of the things. I didn't mean to do that, but okay. Let's break down some of the things that we have acquired in our recent travels. Uh, a couple of these things here. I'm gonna keep the enchantment on these. And I uh, got some level ups going on there, which is always very welcome. So I have some elven weaponry on display. Um, not necessarily something that we uh, need to partake from right now. Little bedroom area, some storage primarily, you know, bookshelves and all that. Speaking of bookshelves, I want to drop off some of my books that I have picked up on the way, like Arbel's Journal. Um, some pretty cool, like, uh, enchantment, not enchantment, rather, but more skill style books. The spell tomes we're going to keep because the ones that we don't want, uh, we want to sell. So have a teleport spell to our home. Uh, probably don't need that at the moment. I mean, we're just going to kind of, we're, we're going to make our way there anyway, one way or the other. We'll take that and that, put that in there and that in there. And we're left with some things that we kind of want to keep a hold of more like notes and things like that. Back here, we've got a little followers area primarily just kind of tucked away, you know, overlooked by a shrine of Azura. Uh, this is more for Feindal or really any companions that she has found with her on her travels are always welcome to stay there with her. So uh, let's head over here and peruse. We've got the shrines to Azura, Boethia, and Mephala here as well. Those are the three. Are they technically considered Aedra? Because they're not Daedra, I believe. I could be wrong about that, but... They're the like tribunal, so to speak, for the Dunmer. So of course, Cytheria has them well represented in her home. 
a little crafting area, a little area to clean up, and there's some fishing area down over there, which, let's be honest, we don't often have the time to uh, partake in, at least not these days. So that being said, that's that's the house, guys. That's um, where Sithiri likes to call home. It's cozy. It's relatively modest, all things considered, but at least she does have a place to stay. So now I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of sorting. We're going to change up some of our equipment, specifically an armor set that Sithiri wants to uh, have on instead of what she is wearing currently in order to travel over to Solstheim. And then here, very, very soon, we're going to have to be heading on to Windhelm uh, for all that we get to experience when we're over there. So let me just do a little bit of that and I will be right back. Stinking skeevers, honestly. What in the world? Also, that dragon is like literally right over there and I'm not convinced we're going to be able to avoid it. And you know what? That's just going to have to be okay because we have to go this way and there's, there's just no way of getting around that anymore. We were able to sneak past it the first time. We might have okay luck this time with the same, but I'm going to have to stop holding my breath and avoiding the main roads and the light. Uh, oh gosh, what in the world is happening here? What's going on? Are you all right? What happened? Oh my gosh. How did you manage to survive? Okay. Um, is there anything I can do to help? What do you need? Yes. Take me to Windhelm. One of the other caravans sells their wares there. Please. I don't have much time. Okay. Yeah, I am actually going that way. So, come on, let's go. Thank you, Traveler. Thank you so much. You just hopped up right quick there, didn't you? Hey, would you mind if... What? Uh, I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. I guess I do have ice magic that I can use. I always forget about that. Well, heck with you, cat. Honestly. Like, why would you even be that way? Um, I don't want anything that you have except this letter. Maybe that'll tell me why you acted like such an idiot to someone who's just trying to help you. All right. Tanita. Oh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that name. Lahan, perhaps. Perhaps. Lahan hopes this is a joke. If so, she's not laughing. She will not help you and your bandit friends sack the caravans. And if their paths cross, do not think she will spare you because Khajiit are friends. Lahan. Okay, all right, so we are going to give this note to this Lahan person, and maybe they'll be able to give us an idea as to what went wrong here. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but I do know that I now definitely want to make sure to kind of look around. Oh, there's a Khajiit sitting here. I don't really want anything that you have, but I'm definitely going to try in a moment to open up that chest. There's a... You guys see this magical healing potion it's literally just floating in midair that's kind of impressive actually all right uh oh i really want this and we just came from the house where i had room to put all this stuff all right i do i do want that please and thank you uh, nothing else really though i think i'm good okay trying to get out Oh, that's right, I'm carrying too much to be able to run. Hey, Feynol, I'm... Watch your back, bud. Can I help you? Yeah, please. Can I, like... It's the least I can do. Yeah, thank you. I'm glad you understand me now. Okay. I don't have you carrying much right now, so hopefully you could just take that stuff. Let's I would going, very much appreciate it. I just heard someone draw their weapon. Oh, that was it. Unfortunately, Feynol is trying to use one of the two-handed weapons that I gave him, which is definitely not as much his forte. So yeah, I think we're gonna like avoid that whole area of the world over there. I, I'm still not keen on the idea of like overtly taking on the dragon. That being said, if he comes my way, not even gonna blink. Like we're just not even gonna think twice. We are going to make that work. Ooh, I see fellow travelers. Hi, Vigilant of Stendar. Hi, how's it going? You speak to a Vigilant of Stendar. Cavort with any Daedra, and we will hunt you down. Oh, don't worry about me. You're a Vigilant of Stendar? Yes. Our order was founded after the Oblivion Crisis. We dedicate our lives to facing the threat of Daedra wherever they appear. 
We're quartered in the Hall of the Vigilant. Keeper Carset heads Skyrim's branch of our order there, providing healing and justice as needed. Cool. So, uh, who's Stendar? He is the god of mercy, the patron of order and justice for all of Tamriel. We bring his compassion where none can be found, by cleansing all those who would offend his children. So you hunt Daedra, it and sounds any like. And other abominations that prey on mortals. Ah. Vampires, werewolves, witches. Ooh. Fair but enough. Daedra are the worst. Their callous disregard for our lives is abhorrent in the eyes of the God of Mercy. So what's dangerous about Daedra exactly? They're very powerful, but what's so bad about them? They are profane creatures with no hope of redemption. They lure innocents to their deaths and corrupt the souls of all they touch. And their heretical artifacts grant powers to mortals that wreak havoc across Tamriel. See, Fane, I'll give me the stink eye over there. They must be destroyed or guarded to prevent temptation. Okay, well, better catch up with your friend. By the way, this is the new armor set that Sithiri is wearing. This is a Netch leather armor set. For those of you who don't know, uh, Netch leather is something that you can acquire in Solstheim. Netches, specifically, are creatures that live... Uh, in Morrowind, and this is something that she was given as a gift some time ago, and has not really had the pleasure of using just yet, so she thought it would be kind of perfect for this kind of an occasion. Luckily, it's still fit, so we're all good to go there. Oh, we just caught back up with the Vigilant, just had to take a different route. <laughs> and we are in Kynes Grove, okay. I'm telling you, I heard it. How did Those weird things are pretty Hmm. Oh, dear. <laughs> Did you guys just see Fatal? Drops me out. Oh my gosh. He just dropped out of midair. Like, actual, just from the skies, just dropped to his feet on the stone path. That's hysterical. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of excited for it to stop raining. Like, that's. It feels like it's been raining a lot here recently. Thankfully, we're getting into more snow territory, so it should probably stop just about any time. Ooh, and I see Windhelm in the distance. So Windhelm is a place that holds some mixed feelings for Sethiri. Like many Dark Elves, she is pretty much a target of a lot of the very blatant racism. Hello? Okay. The very blatant racism that is just kind of runs rampant in Windhelm under Yara Ulfric, who she actually happened to be in the cart with that day, being hauled off to the execution. She was actually uh, able to recognize him, even though, you know, they were all in a little bit of an unrecognizable state, but she has mixed feelings about Windhelm because it's also her home. It's where she grew up. It's where her family used to be before they died. And so it's home, but it's also a very unwelcoming place. So we're going to just stall out here for a minute and perhaps talk to some of the Khajiit who are camping outside. Come, come and see what goods I offer. Hi. Um, I welcome you, friend. How may I serve you? Has the war made your travels difficult? Quite the opposite, in fact. The soldiers are some of our best customers, for we offer supplies and wares they cannot obtain by other means. Hmm. It was Rissad's idea to come here now, while the land is in turmoil, where others saw only danger, he saw opportunity. It's kind of the mark of a good businessman, so I guess you work for Rizad? He hired the others and paid for my goods. I am allowed to run the caravan. But I pay Risa the percentage of my profits. That makes sense. I say this without bitterness, for it was Risa who saved me from a life of servitude aboard a trading ship. Oh, wow. I am grateful to have the life that I do now. It is a far cry from my days as an orphan on the streets of Corinth. Hmm. Um, just since I'm here, what have you got for sale? Look. I might have some things for you, too, to be honest. Let's just try to sell off a couple of the things that we have already. Like, we do have two hunting bows. I don't know why we need two. Uh, the iron dagger, the sword, the war axe, the steel war axe. Uh, we don't need that. And apparently not that, because I didn't have the ability to break that down. Um, I might keep a hold of that, perhaps. Don't need the gauntlets, the shoes, the necklace, sell off the hide stuff. Ooh, I actually enchanted up a couple of pieces of jewelry. So very minimal enchantments, like 
almost worth nothing, but just in an effort to get my enchanting up a little bit. And so he's actually going to take those two, which is so ridiculously handy. It's also increasing my speech, which is kind of nice. Okay, I think we've kind of drained him of all of his... Lead you to warm Thank you, Madron. We've kind of drained him of all of his stuff. So, hi. Volfrida is certainly grating, but she pays well. Thankfully, nobody from the city can see me out here. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, so let's head on into Windhelm directly. You come here where you're not wanted. Eat our food, you pollute our city with your stink, and you refuse to help the storm cloaks. Hey. But we haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these Grayskins don't help in the war is because they're Imperial Did you just say spies. Grayskins? Imperial spies? You can't be serious. Maybe we'll pay you a visit tonight, little spy. Um ways of finding out what you really are. Excuse me? Hey, I have to I need to say something to you. Give me a second. I'll come back for, for shipping. I we always offer better hey, service than the East Empire Company. Can I get back to you on that? I'll be back. I'll Until be next I'll be back. Hi. Yeah, Every um night, I walk around a gray quarter and let them grayskins know what I think of them. I kind of hate you. It's fine. Um Grayskin, go back to Morrowind. Excuse you. Do you really think that the Dark Elves are Imperial spies? Because you're, like, accusing an entire race here of something that you don't even understand. Because you're an idiot. Wouldn't surprise me. They've done nothing to help in the fight for Skyrim's freedom. Those Thalmor Elves, too. I bet they're working together. That is, like, the single Maybe most umbrella racist statement I've ever heard. A few prisoners to interrogate. Um, yeah. So, like, back up for just a second. Why do you hate the Dark Elves exactly? Like, choose your next words very carefully. They're parasites. They're living in our city under our protection. But what do they do for us? Nothing. I know the High King invited them here, but he didn't ask me or anyone else first. Maybe he should have. Yeah, so... I don't like your attitude. Don't like it? Too bad. This is our city. Ours! Don't think I can take you? 100 septum say I can punch you back where you came from. Okay, you are on, buddy. All right. Fists only. None of that magic stuff either. Let's go. Okay, bud, let's go. Come on. Let's the tomato. You just gotta stand there and take it? Fight back! I'm not. I'm fighting back, Feindall. Heck, calm down. Yeah, get down. Drive that snow back to the ground. Come on! Yeah, what you said. Yeah, I think you owe me some money. And Drive a little respect, too. To you gotta, in, you just that gotta get better at your swing. insults, Feindall. It was definitely a fair swing. You lost. Well, Give me my money. The yeah. The Here. big one? I guess that's me. Thank you. Have a nice day. Name's News. I'm the cook up at Candleheart Hall. Well, did I see you colluding with that other guy against the Dark Elves? You know what? It's your lucky day, I'm gonna let you go. Yeah, so like, <laughs> the racism thing when it comes to her people is something that she, like, cannot abide. He's I, I don't plan on finding out, actually, so... Oh my goodness. So when it comes to the Dark Elves, Sathiri, understandably, is incredibly sensitive about the amount of oppression that they have to go through, which is one of the reasons that she would never, like, over her dead body, side with the Stormcloaks, as it is right now. Not only do many of the Nords who live in Windhelm and other places express a lot of racism against Dark Elves, but also the leader of the Stormcloaks, Ulfric, doesn't do anything supposedly to curb that kind of racism or welcome people of different races into Skyrim. It's all very much like Skyrim is for the Nords kind of a thing, which the theory can understand. She knows that her people are outcasts in Skyrim. I mean, she knows that she's not going to necessarily just be welcomed with open arms from the get go. However, like her people have had a foothold in Skyrim for quite a few years at this point, you know, generations. And when when is there going to be any welcome for people other than Nord? So that kind of a thing really bothers her, like a lot. <laughs> so yeah, Everyone let's move on. Needs metal hammered. Actually, I just sold off almost every piece of metal that I have. But how's your steel? Every bit as sharp as what you'll find in White Run. I respect Yorland, but he has the good fortune to work the Skyforge. 
Something about the fires. Their steel just holds tighter. If that makes any sense. I mean, sort of. I'm not a blacksmith, but I'm sure that that's something you guys care about. Um, does the war mean good business for you? I mean, I'm sure you sell a lot of weaponry. I don't see these troubles as business. This is a labor of honor. To bring Ulfric his rightful glory, I would hammer a thousand shields. Short oh, okay. bones. I might just have to. Yeah, I might sell some stuff with you and then, like, go. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. All right, so let's see if we have anything else to sell. I think we're down to kind of the bare bones. By the way, we switched out Moonblade for um, Sethiri's Elven Sword in order to just, you know, kind of... We're anticipating some intense difficulty with the promise of a new land, and so, yeah, you know having a different option there is definitely a solid thing. We also have a lot of arrows and just a measly hunting bow, so it would be nice at some point to upgrade that. So I don't really think I need any corundum. I'm going to sell you my saber cap pelt. I'm going to hold on to my iron ingots Whether it's armor while I... Uh, Come see me. Working in I, I put great. that back for you. I get to see Ulfric up close. You are... Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. Become a decent smith. Is that this girl over here? Hey, can I use that, please? Whenever you get the chance. Thank you. Yeah, you can just move over. Uh, I need actual netch leather, understandably, to improve my armor. So, can't really do anything much there. I mean, I, I don't think I want to hear anything. I expected Ulfric to live up to his legend, but he does. It's like really bright. You guys, it's like super bright. Anyway, that snow is like blinding me right now. Sounds like you really admire Ulfric. Every Nord should admire Ulfric. He fights for all of us. You're talking to a dark elf. Fact, he's the reason I chose to learn the smithing trade. I want to make weapons and armor for the Great Stormcloak army. Oh, okay. Do you like being a blacksmith? Smithing isn't the most exciting thing for me, but we all have to lend a hand as best we can. Yeah, we're just making conversation if at this point. If a Stormcloak uses one of my swords to strike down an Imperial soldier, and I've done my part to free our land. Okay. Well, so of advice, don't buy discounted armor. What? I mean, that's solid. Anyway, I didn't like you until like uh, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. Um that being said, as I was mentioning earlier, even though Sathiri doesn't like the storm close, it doesn't mean she likes the Imperials per se. She's kind of neutral on the topics of the war. Hi. The townsfolk call me captain because I used to be a sailor. Okay. Uh so what kind of captain are you? Well, nothing. At least not anymore. Folk just call me that because of what I used to do. I was a sailor for many a year. I made my coin as a trader, and in time, I bought my own ship. Hmm. When I retired here in Windhelm, most folk already knew me as Captain Lonely Gale, and the name just stuck. Okay. So I'm... She's not new here, so she would be aware of, like, who the prominent citizens are of this town. Um, and also what there is to do in the city, although that being said, there has been some change since she was last here, most likely, so keeping an eye open for that, if there has been anything new added to the city, what is there to do in if Windhelm? looking to pass the time, you can give colleagues to a few septims and gawk at whatever oddity he's come across lately. If you are in need of goods, there's a market. If it's a soft bed and a hot meal you're after, there's Candlehearth Hall. Yeah, pretty much all the same stuff that she knew about, so... And palm seeds. Oh, okay. I've been a bit out of sorts since since our daughter was taken from us. Oh my gosh. Um, I, I'm I've not been back in a while. What's going on? Not really sure what to do with myself anymore. Oh. I just miss her so much. That's very sad. Um, hey, what's what's going on with your wife? What Lord happened Nielsen. to your daughter? Seeing a good tavern, bro, might be just the thing to lift my spirits. I kind of initiated one outside the tavern? Does that count? Here, have a drink on me. Ale or me. I don't know, actually. Let's find out. I do! You can have the hunting brew mead? Yes, yes. Now, to find myself a drink. Okay. Alright. How's it going? Um, do you grow all your own crops? Oh, the dialogue's bugging out. You. Okay. Speaking of, I probably need to save anyway, just because... Why not? Do you grow all your own crops? Everything you see is grown at my family's own Holly Frost farm. Buddy, get out of the way. And filling. 
I also do a little herb growing. Feindal. The court wizard Woundfirth pays us to plant a You're little, a little close. Who knows what he uses it for? Nightshade. Hey, could you deliver this bottle of nightshade extract to Woundfirth? Uh, yeah, of course. I can make sure that he gets Thanks. it. Yeah, no problem. Um, what have you got for sale? Got Just since display, I'm here. Really. So food, primarily. I don't know if I have anything here. I don't need that stuff, mostly. I'll go ahead and sell you the wine. I'm, I'm, I'm good, to be honest. And... I guess I'll go ahead and keep these things. I mean, just in case, you know. Why not? Uh, one place that she does like to check in... Is the armor done yet? Need something. Ice looks weird. Anyways. Hi! Can I help this better be good. Okay, bye. Um, one place that she does like to stop in, because she has these, like, yearnings to be an alchemist, is the alchemy shop, the White File, here in Windhelm. It's been a while since she's caught up with the people who run this place. In fact, she's almost be been too intimidated to talk to them at times in the past. So. Master, you're far too old for this sort of journey. You don't know what's inside. <coughs> <I'll>, I can... <coughs> oh my gosh. Just... <coughs> You see, you you're not here. Well. Have a seat, and I'll fetch you some tonic. No. Oh, Put my lantern on, don't mind me. Tonic that could help me. <laughs> I would have found it by now. Hey, Norellian. I'm were so you... close to the answer. Yeah, what were you guys arguing about? Just a man's life work is all. I finally derived the location of the white file. This doting busybody won't let me get it. You mean your assistant over there? Um, anyways, if you tell me where it is, I could probably get it for you. I'm a mercenary. I like to travel and get stuff. I mean, I'm going to Solstheim first, but if you can wait a little bit, I mean, you sound kind of bad, but if you can wait a little bit, I could probably get that for you. You would do that? It's good to know there are some people out there who are willing to help an old man. It's buried with its maker, Kural Mill, Ooh. in the long forsaken cave to the west of here. Kural Mill was a crafty one, even in death. You would need the skills of a master alchemist to reach its resting place. Oh, I'm not one of those. Luckily for you, I've already made the mixture. Ooh, perfect. Here, take it. And this will be our relationship. Please, no. <laughs> Don't dally. Ooh. I've wasted enough time arguing with my useless assistant here. Okay, I have, some, I have some questions. So why is the file so important to you? I've spent my entire life searching for it. It brought me all the way to these frozen reaches from the warm embrace of Somerset Isle. Entire years spent in libraries. Seeking out tiny villages with local legends that contain but a whisper of a hint of the file. I even named my shop after it, hoping that it might attract anyone who had heard of it. It's kind of smart, actually. No, it's within my grasp. But the eight, it seems, <coughs> have um, chosen me did he just for their amusement. Oh, okay. For in my crazy. current condition. I'll never be able to lay my hands on it. Mm. Uh, also, the big question of the hour, what is the White File? A legendary bottle, forged in the days when Skyrim was just starting its turn to ice. A small container made of the magically infused snow that first fell on the throat of the world. It is said that the file will replenish Whatever fluid is placed inside of That's incredibly valuable. For an alchemist like myself, it is the most pure expression of my art. To create from nothingness is... Poetry. That's pretty beautiful, actually. Okay, um... Why are you still standing around Excuse here? me? Go get me the fire! Okay, okay, I'm... You fool. Okay, excuse you. Man, I, I've already gotten into one fight today. Let's just leave. All right, so next thing's next. Probably going to head over to the Jarl's Palace, as much as we don't want to see Ulfric right now. And uh, talk to the court wizard, because we have something to deliver for him. To him, anyway. Can't just throw the big logs on the fire. Gotta have the little bits, too. Are you okay? Here, my 
You have some talent, man. I'm just saying. Hmm. You didn't hear it from me, but if you want a real drink, try the corner club in the gray quarter. Alrighty. Okay, I mean, yeah, that's fine. Anyways, not sure what she was doing outside of the tavern, but let's head in here. I mostly deal with petty thievery and drug and brawls. Been too long since we've had a good bandit raid. Would they raid Windhelm? That seems kind of dumb. I don't know, bandits are dumb. He's a true lord. He'll come around. Are you talking about the Jarl and White Run? We've intercepted couriers from Solitaire. The Empire's putting a great deal of pressure on the White Run. That's not who I'm looking for. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us, he's against us. He knows that. It's they a pretty impressive that. place. How long are you going to wait? You think I need to send Borgroth a stronger message? If by message you mean shoving a sword through his gullet... I'm not eavesdropping. Taking his city and leaving him in disgrace would make a more powerful statement, don't you think? So we're ready to start this war in earnest then? Soon. I still say you should take them all out like you did dead King Torig. Torig was merely a message to the other Yars. Whoever we replace them with will need the support of our armies. We're ready when you are. Things hinge on White Run. If we can take the city without bloodshed, all the better. But if not, the people are behind you. Many, I fear, still need convincing. Then let them die with their false kings. We've been soldiers a long time. We know the price of freedom, but people are still weighing things in their hearts. What's left of Skyrim to wager? They have families to think of. How many of their sons and daughters follow your banner? We are their families. Well put, friend. Tell me, Galmar, why do you fight for me? I'd follow you into the depths of oblivion. You know that. Yes, but why do you fight? If not for me, what then? I'm definitely not listening I to your conversation. For elves dictate the fates of men. Are we not one in this? I fight for the men I've held in my arms, dying on foreign soil. I fight for their wives and children whose names I heard whispered in their last breath. I fight for we few who did come home, only to find our country. Just make yourself at home, Fandal. Familiar faces. I fight for my people. Impoverished to pay the debts of an empire too weak to rule them, yet brands them criminals for wanting to rule themselves. I fight so that all the fighting I've already done hasn't been for nothing. I fight because I must. Your words give voice to what we all feel, Ufri. Hmm. And that's why you will be High King. I mean... The day worse of it now would be the day when soldiers like us no longer needed. I would gladly okay. It's world. probably time to where such a day is gone. Go. Aye. Okay, anyway, so I like to listen to that speech for two reasons. For one, because it gives context. For another, it'll continue to replay every single time you enter this palace if you don't listen to it at least somewhat all the way through. It might still do that next time. Who knows? <laughs> Despite my best efforts. But we did just stop and waste some time listening to Ulfric. Um... Knock, knock. Eh. Here, I have something to give you. Ooh. Can I, like, take this stuff? Frost salts. Yes, please. Um, we want that necessarily. Ooh. <coughs> shut up. Shut up. Who's suits? Oh, that was him. Okay, oops. Did you, you don't have to shut up. Oh, he's... Dang it. I can just take that unusual gem, though. Hmm. I, I, maybe we should take that to somebody who actually knows what that is. Anyways, hi, I'm here Whatever to... you've heard I can do is probably true. That's my Fulfric confident man. Favor, he has it. Anyone else better pay well for the service. Yeah, yeah, I have a delivery from Halevi. Oh, yes, the extract. Good. Poisonous, of course. 
but uh, it has its uses. Of course. I suppose you want something for your trouble? That'd be great. Here. Thank you. Okay. Does Ulfric have much need for magic? He doesn't seem like the type. Like, he's heavy armor, two-handed wielding. There's no place here for mages. No. But then I don't have much need for Ulfric. That's fair enough. We both leave well enough alone. What kind of magic do you study? Whatever I don't already know. I like this guy. Power is the crux of this world. There's always more of it to be had, if you look in the right places. What have you got for sale? So, you wish to master the arcane arts. I mean, that'd be cool. Eventually, maybe? Perhaps? I actually want to see if you have a particular spell tome. Um, I would like, specifically... Fast healing. That would be great. Also, I have a couple of spell tones that I don't need and I would like to sell to you if you're willing. It looks like you were. I'm just going to take a little peruse here. It'd be good to be able to use like ice spike or something like that as well instead of what I'm currently using, which is just like the, the basic frost spell. So I might go ahead and get that because it might be a little bit more useful than what we're using. Strength and steel are well and good. Excuse me, Fandal. Magic. I mean, I, I like steel too. If those white run gods can take down the dragon. So can we. They did have some good help. Just saying. All right, we're going to learn those new spells and then put them as a part of my arsenal. So I'm going to favorite that and unfavorite regular healing. And I'm going to favorite my new ice spike spell, which is apprentice compared to novice, which is what I have right now. So it's going to cost a little bit more magicka. But it's also going to, you know, be a little bit better in the long run. <laughs> so I'm pretty excited about that. I would like to head to the Great Quarter because this is like her people, you know, like. Be on the lookout. The butcher could be around any corner. I've got some interesting Once looking eyes. The, wait, the, do you see the butcher? What? After what happened to those other women, I'm worried about my own safety. What are you talking about? Okay. It's good to spend some time on solid land. Okay. Okay. So I'm kind of excited about this. This is the New Guinness Corner Club, and this is like an old hangout That's spot. Close enough. You're not supposed to be in here. What's the problem, Amberis? Afraid I'll soil your precious bar stool? This is the last time I'll say it. Get out. Fine. I didn't want any of your piss water anyway. Excuse you? Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. Hi. What was I got a clean mug around here what was somewhere? What's going on there, honestly? So, hey. Welcome, sister. Please enjoy yourself. Thank you. Um So, oh yeah, I so I heard something outside about there being like a butcher and some women being killed. What's going None on? Of that matters to me. Until someone takes a Dunmer. I'll let Windhelm deal with its own problems. I mean, we can't all live like that, though. Anyways, like... Have you heard any rumors lately? I'm kind of in the market, sort of. I was walking by the old Aretino residence. Heard the little boy, Aventus. He was chanting. Ooh. It was a black sacrament, I'll tell you. Oh my gosh. Uh, that's... Interesting. If Thank you, you for the information. Drink, I'll be right here. As always, I, I'm curious. Horses, all day oh, hi. Long. Do you have any idea how dull You're tall. horses are? I'm sure they're incredibly tall. Um, we can talk about something else, though, if you want. If the guards would listen to Viola, they'd have caught the butcher by now. Hmm. I have to look into that at some point in the future, perhaps. What do you think about that, Fandal? Pretty interesting stuff, right? So. The Aretinos, they lived up, they lived they're definitely not in this area of town, that's that's for sure. Like, it was definitely more like up here, if we remember correctly. It was definitely the wealthier part of town, like here-ish, maybe? One of these big houses along the side. Hmm. Then it's true, what everyone is saying, that Aventus Aretino is doing the Black Sacrament, trying to summon the Dark Brotherhood? Oh, Grimbar, always with the nonsense. No, no, of course not. 
Those are just tails. Uh huh. Fine. Then I'll invite him out to play. He lives right there. I'm right there? At his door. No, child. Wait. Who? That boy. That house. They are cursed. Ha! <laughs> then I'm right. I knew it. He's trying to have somebody killed. Smart kid. I won't deny it. Okay, that's all. That's all. This. That's good enough for me. Is what I'm saying. Like, we're just going to very casually break into this house. And you'll get what you deserve. The Dark Brotherhood will see to that. Please, how long must I what do this? What torch? Whatever. Mother, why won't you answer me? What is he sweet mother, doing? Sweet mother, send your child unto me, for the sins of the unworthy must be baptized in blood and fear. Don't let me scare you. I'm sweet mother, not here to hurt you. Mother, send your child unto me, for the sins of the unworthy must be baptized in blood and fear. Oh my gosh, it is the Black Sacrament. At least what little so, we know of it. Uh, Aventus, are you? You're Aventus, right? Have been answered. Are you okay? It worked. I knew you'd come. I just knew it. What are you talking about? I did the black sacrament over and over with the body and the things. And then you came. An assassin from the Dark Brotherhood. Um, yeah, I'm not at all who you think I am. Of course you are. I prayed, and you came, and now you'll accept my contract. Contract? My mother, she... she died. I... I'm all alone now. So they sent me to that terrible orphanage in Riften. Honor Hall! The headmistress is an evil, cruel woman. They call her Grella the kind. But she's not kind. She's terrible to all of us! Yeah. So I ran away and came home and performed the Black Sacrament. Now you're here and you could kill Grella the kind! Okay. Wow. Okay. Sorry. To be honest, I'm kind of lonely here. As much as I hated getting sent to Honor Hall, I really miss my friends there. Yeah. Poor kid, honestly. So, um, Sithiri has actually heard Rilla of the Rilla the Kind. She's been through Riften a couple of times and has occasionally heard pretty disturbing things about the woman who runs the orphanage over there, which... Just don't kill Constance the show. She really is kind. Oh, she the, she's the helper, right? She's like the assistant or something like that. Okay, okay, whatever. Um, Rod is the headmistress of Honor Hall Orphanage, but not for long. I wish Fainel would decide about this torch thing. But are you sure about this? Like, you're asking me to murder somebody. I've never been more sure about anything in my entire life. Someone like Rod doesn't deserve to live one more day. She's a monster. She kind of is. What happened to your mother? She got sick last winter when the snows came and she just she never got better not all year one night she fell asleep and never woke up so now i'm all alone and the jarl said i have to go into honor hall orphanage it's not fair if you're serious about this you know we're playing the role of an assassin here i'm gonna kill somebody who hasn't done anything wrong in the eyes of the law. And assassinations don't come cheap. I have a family heirloom you can have. It's supposed to be sort of valuable. Uh, I hope that's alright. Oh, he sounds so desperate. Oh, you know what? Please hurry. <sighs> to be honest, I'm kind of lonely here. Oh my gosh. As much as I hated getting sent to Honor Hall. Guys, this I kid really is breaking my heart. Here. I'll take that. And the frost salts. Whose skull? I don't want to know. I don't even want to know. There's a note here hidden under this basket from the steward. Master Aventus Aretino, your Ulfric Stormcloak wishes to express his deepest sympathies at the death of your mother, Nalia. Unfortunately, because you are fatherless and have no other known relations, the Jarl cannot allow you to remain in your home unsupervised. Therefore, in no more than a week's time, you are to report to Honor Hall Orphanage in Riften, where you'll reside until your 16th birthday. The Aretino family home in the city of Windhelm will, of course, remain your property. The building will be securely locked and ready for your return six years hence. So he's just 10 years old, guys. Note that I am unsure of the education provided to you by your recently deceased mother, or if you possess the ability to read the letter I am currently composing. Therefore, a member of the city guard will call upon you in one week at your home and provide escort to the orphanage. Hopefully his arrival will not come as a complete shock. 
with greatest respect, Yorlif. Steward to our most honorable, whatever, whatever the heck. Anyways, I guess I'm just going to leave that there. Um, so yeah, they like, I mean, I guess understandably, you wouldn't want a kid who's 10 to live on his own. Like, he is an orphan. It would make sense that they would want him to go to an orphanage. But there's obviously some pretty horrific living conditions going on there. And to the point where Sathiri kind of wants to, like... <sighs> she kind of wants to address this really quick. She knows a route that will take her to Riften very quickly, and it's not going to be that much trouble. Feindal, are you game for that? Because I'm kind of game for that. So I think we're going to very quickly deviate and then take that carriage immediately back, like, as soon as the deed is done. And just settle this for this kid so that he doesn't have to stay here and be alone. All right, we are here at Riften, and don't don't look at the blood on my Hold clothing. There. Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitor's tax. This wasn't a thing when I was here last time. What's the tax for? For the privilege of entering the city. What I call bull. This, this is obviously a shakedown. Your voice down. Talk as loud you as I want. want. to hear you. I'll let you in. Just let me unlock the gate. Okay. Bunch of shady guards. Of course, it's Riften, so, like, what else do I expect? The gate's unlocked. You can head inside when you're ready. Yeah, okay. Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet girl. You better be glad that the person I'm here to murder isn't you. But you're going on the list. Once you in town, eh? I don't know you. Oh. You and Riften looking for trouble. You're a little close, buddy. I'm just passing through. Yeah? Well, I got news for you. There's nothing to see here. Last thing the Black Briars need is some stranger sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. Why are you being so hostile to someone who just walked into the city? Who are the Black Briars? The Black Briars have Riften in their pocket and the Thieves Guild watching their back. So keep your nose out of their business. Hmm. I'll do that. Good. Just stay out of the Blackbriar's affairs. You'll live longer. Okay. Alrighty then. So, this is Riften. Quite a lowly place. Stay out of the All things considered. Hmm. So, if Sathiri remembers correctly, the orphanage is somewhere around here. It's like toward the water. I think it's, yeah, Honor Hall Orphanage. Okay. So, Feindal, I know you heard the whole, like, the thing that it was Aventus, he said the whole spiel, but I don't think you need to necessarily be complicit in this, so I can I get for you? I need you to wait here, please. As you wish. Thank you. I'm sure you'll find something to do. Like, somewhere not next to the door, I, I want you to not have to be, like around the place when the guards come asking questions. Do, do you get do you get my meaning? Those who shirk their duties will get an extra beating. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes growler. Yes, growler. What's going on and here? And one more thing. I will hear no more talk of adoptions. None of you riffraff is getting adopted, ever. Nobody needs you. Nobody wants you. That, my darlings, is why you're here. Why you will always be here. Until the day you come of age and get thrown into that wide, horrible world. What a horrible woman. Now, what do you all say? We, we love, love you, Grover. Thank, Thank you for your kindness. Your kindness. Your kindness. That's better. Now scurry off, my little gutter snipes. Oh my gosh. It is, like, just as bad as we expected. Like, that's horrible. Like, what kind of person who is supposed to be taking care of children talks to them that way? She didn't see me. I'm just gonna let everybody go to sleep, and then we're going to enact the plan. Just close that door. The kiddos are all asleep in their beds, which is for the best. I'd rather them not witness what I'm about to do to this woman. Okay, so close that door. We're gonna try something that she's not really had the ability to do just yet, and I'm hoping that the situation gives her what she needs to conjure up <laughs> what is needed to perform this act. Oh my gosh, she has the bound bow, which is ridiculously exciting. 
Grella. Okay, we're gonna take your stuff quickly. I hear noises outside. I hope. Oh my gosh. Um. Uh, um. I didn't expect them to wake up so quickly. I would like to take this stuff quickly. The kids, don't. Sarah, she's like, she's dead. That's. Calm down. Oh my goodness. Hey, oh, are you like dancing on her dead body or something? Oh my gosh, guys. Wow. You look really upset. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> oh, I love Skyrim so much. We heading out? So, Fandel, I did a thing, and we're not going to talk about it, and we're just going to go back to Windhelm. Okay, so we are back here in Windhelm. I don't haggle. If you want a lower price, look elsewhere. I... There's no glory are you selling war. things? It's just something they tell soldiers so they'll risk their lives. Okay, we're gonna head on back to Aventus, tell him the good news, and then get out of Dodge. Again, this is kind of the theme of her life right now. Just leaving. Well? Grow the kind. Is she, you know... Grella the Kind is dead. Uh -huh. I knew you could do it. I just knew it. I knew the Dark Brotherhood would save I'm me. I'm not the Dark Brotherhood. Here, just like I promised, this should fetch you a nice price. Uh, thank you. Thank you again. <sighs> All right. What are you gonna do now, kid? Like, when I grow up, I'm going to be an assassin. That way, I can help lots of children, just like you. That's kind of the saddest thing I've ever seen and she feels for him she really does like doesn't really know what's going to become of him now but you know maybe maybe he'll find his way back at some point hopefully he'll he'll live a happier life from here on out maybe we'll visit him in riften at some point when he goes back to the orphanage now that she's gone been a murder over in riften some old lady who runs an orphanage those poor children must be heartbroken uh-huh Man, word travels fast. All right, so let's head out here to the docks because that's where we're going to end up next is firmly planted on the docks, ready to go to Solstheim. Okay, who do I need to talk about passage on this boat? I feel like it's one of those guys over there. They look kind of busy. Um, hey, are you in charge here or? We're used to getting by on scraps, but the Shatter Shields want everything for nothing. Is someone giving you trouble? Torbjorn Shattershield. I wish someone would beat the coin out of his fat fists. He clings to every septum. He says an Argonian's labor is only worth a tenth of a proper Nord worker. Oh my gosh. My people are not slaves. I mean, I can definitely talk to Torbjorn for you. You can try, but we've gotten nowhere talking to him ourselves. I mean, I may be a Dunmer, but... I, apparently he thinks very little of you, unfortunately, self. and maybe we can make this work. Hey. I have to wonder, what does a dragonborn do once he's summoned by the Greybeards? I've heard that question before. I like your cloak. Again, he's scared. Okay. Hey, Fane doll. Still here. First, I'm going to check something quickly. Sure thing. I, I may have given you something earlier, and I want to make sure I get it back. Okay. That's definitely all... Yours, I believe. I think that the bow is mine, though. I'm gonna take that. If you don't care too much. Let me know if there's anything else you need. So, Feindal, I know that you probably don't have any interest in. Hey, I'm speaking to you. I've got your back. Um, I know you probably don't have any interest in going to Solstheim. Like that's an entirely different continent to the one that you grew up on and live on. And I don't want to drag you across the expanse of the Sea of Ghosts just for me. So, I think that it's probably time that we part ways here. I mean. I really appreciate everything that you've done for me. Very well. Travel safe. But you go home and you marry that Camilla Valerius and you have beautiful little elven imperial babies and I'll come visit. I'll, I'll be anti Sithiri. Godmother Sithiri. Good luck. Ah, <sighs> I miss that boy. So this is Guy. Gal Galleon? Galleon, you said? Galleon? If you're looking for passage to Solstheim. You won't find a finer vessel than the Northern Maiden. Perfect. How much is it going to cost me? I'll give you a fair price. 
Not many people headed over there these days. Yeah, I understand why. If you ask me, I can't blame them. Things aren't what they used to be out there. Wait, what are you talking about exactly? Why are you sailing there at all? They still pay me for supplies and passage. And I can always use the coin. Still interested in heading over there? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Um, you've got yourself a ship. But we'll cast off immediately. So we are approaching Solstheim and... Oh my goodness. I'm well, very, very excited. We are. Welcome to Raven. Raven Rock. Just be careful here. Things aren't what they used to be. Ooh. So this is very exciting. I cannot wait. Ooh. 